Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how you can get some free items in GTA 5. It's pretty incredible how easy this method really is, and I really do think you guys are going to enjoy this stuff, because this will literally teach you guys on how to save hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, in GTA Online, because of course you're getting all of these amazing items for free. And if you guys do want to enjoy this episode, then please don't leave it out smashing that like button as it would be greatly appreciated and without wasting any more time let's get straight into the information. Okay so I actually have two things I want to tell you guys about. The first one is a pretty cool method which will allow you guys to get yourself some pretty cool items for free and the second thing is a pretty cool trick which I think you guys are going to love as well. Now this method we're going to be taking a look at has been in the game since it was released and the reason why we're taking a look at it is because it's extremely useful useful for unlocking some very expensive things and this is actually taking a look at the rewards page and believe it or not guys it sounds so newbie to go back into these things but you can actually save a lot of money by using the rewards and it seems to be a feature Rockstar Games introduced at the start of GTA 5 but then once they realized exactly how much money they could make with shark cards they didn't advertise it ever since but this is still in the game and you guys can still take advantage of this stuff to save yourself a lot of money. Money. And the one feature we're going to take a look at the most is actually the bike tires and this is how to get chrome wheels for your bike section of tires. So for your motorcycles, all of your new motorcycles in the bikers update, you can actually get free chrome wheels on those motorcycles and it's got the easiest challenge as well. Now these chrome tires do not come cheap, you're going to be spending tens of thousands of dollars per tire for your motorcycle, you're going to spend about 50k just kitting out your motorcycle with chrome wheels but by using this method you can actually get these chrome wheels for absolutely free and believe it or not guys it is true the method underneath it is that easy all you have to do is get 100 kills with night vision goggles and that's how you unlock them. All you have to do is get 100 kills whilst wearing night vision goggles and you unlock these tires. And just to recap your memory, these are the tires which we are going to be unlocking. Now Rockstar Games have actually taken kind of awareness to this kind of advantage you can take in GTA 5 by using these rewards. And instead of giving all of the chrome tires for the bike section for free when completing this challenge, they will only give you guys some of the tires for free. In fact, a lot of the new ones or at least most of the new uh, tires which they introduced in this DLC, you can't get for free whatsoever. They're still at 20, 30, $40,000 per tire. So Rockstar Games kind of went one foot in, one foot out on this, and I'm not entirely sure exactly how I feel about this, because on completion of this challenge, it says you unlock all of the chrome bike tires. But as we saw, only some of them were unlocked, and I believe the ones we do unlock are the ones which were in the game prior to the Bikers DLC. The ones which came out with the Bikers update are still on for sale, and you can't get them for free, regardless of whether you do this challenge or not. So I think think Rockstar Games aren't advertising this reward system at all in hopes that we kind of forget about this because of course this is certainly them going one foot in one foot out on this system so I'll leave it up to you guys do you think this is fair on us do you think Rockstar Games should give us all of the bike tires for free which are in the chrome section or do you think they're in the uh, fair grounds here that they're giving us some of the chrome tires for free either way if you want to grab yourself some chrome tires for absolutely free you guys totally can do and it doesn't end there there's loads and loads of rewards you guys can get for clothing items, for wheels of any category, for supercars, sports cars, all of those things as well. Some of the challenges take a lot more time than this one. This is actually one of the easiest challenges I've ever seen because it is simply get 100 kills with night vision goggles. That can be pedestrians, it can be your friends, it can be anything you guys wish. So you can just go on a rampage, you could probably reach this challenge and complete it within about two minutes or so. Uh, so this is definitely worth doing and I really do recommend you guys take advantage of this reward but unfortunately you do not get everything you only get some of the chrome tires for free but hey it's still something 
Okay, so for the next part of the video, we're going to take a look at a trick to grab you guys a really rare vehicle in GTA 5. And previously, you couldn't actually get this vehicle in the game unless you got a friend or a pal or just someone in the session to mod it in for you. Uh, for this very reason, it was one of the rarest cars in GTA 5 whatsoever. It wasn't in a mission. It wasn't in any sort of thing you could do. You couldn't get it at all unless you modded this in. And there were only rumors of people managing to spawn in this vehicle. And of course, if you guys haven't guessed it already, it is the Romeo Hearse. Now, I actually got this trick from loads of you guys on Twitter who were tweeting me this trick, and I recently saw it on a good friend of mine called Austin's channel. I will leave a link to him in the description below. But this trick will essentially allow you guys to grab yourself the Romeo Hearse for absolutely free, and this is the first time we're actually able to do something like this and grab this rare vehicle. So in order to do this, you must start up this one clubhouse contact mission, which is called Guns for hire. And I just want to quickly apologize guys, whilst I was recording this video, my recordings kind of glitched out, things were freezing, things were going all over the place. I do manage to get the start and the finish of this mission, showing myself get the hearse as well, uh, but I just want to let you guys know that some parts of the mission are cut out, including starting up this mission for example, simply because my recording is completely screwed up, but I get pretty much the starting of this stuff and I get the ending of it as well. But the tutorial is still the same, and as long as you guys follow this tutorial, you will easily grab yourself the Romeo Hearst. And if you guys do have any questions regarding this tutorial, then please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments section below. Uh, and of course, I will help you out as much as I can by replying to some of you guys in the comments. Anyway, all you're going to want to do is get some people in your clubhouse gang and start up this contact mission, Guns for Hire. You're then going to want to go and get into the limousines. You can do this by simply catching a helicopter, which is exactly what my friend did right here. It doesn't take too long to get to, but one thing I do recommend, and this is where we failed, we actually had to do this mission again again. Yes, guys, it took us quite a while to do this because we had to wait for the mission to come back to us. But this is actually getting the limousines and making sure the limousines stay together. If you do not stay together in the limousines, then unfortunately, what will happen is the mission will kind of fail itself and you will have to wait a certain amount of time in order to start up that contact mission again. So just a few tips for you guys. If you are interested in doing this, make sure you follow the instructions. If you do not follow the instructions and if you do fail this mission, then you can't instantly restart it, which is the most frustrating thing. And this is why it took me such a long time to record this one part, because I had to wait for this contact mission to kind of respawn so we could replay this mission again. Okay, so I'm going to quickly speed up this gameplay because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see us just flying through the clouds here. So I'm going to speed this up. As you can see, the limousines can be found in this one location. This is right around the corner from where the hearses spawn. And some of you guys who have played this mission may have noticed these hearses as well. But the reason why I decided to upload this one clip is because you cannot actually get inside the hearses in this mission. You have to do another trick after this mission to actually obtain and get inside the hearses. And this is what the trick is right now. So as you can see, we're in the limousines. We do actually fail this one mission and we have to restart it again where all the recording is kind of screwed up and stuff. So I couldn't show you guys the entire of that mission. But essentially what will happen is once you do end up delivering the limousines, once you do go through this contact mission, eventually you will end up in the graveyard uh, kind of car park area where there will be a locked limousine. And it is locked. You cannot get into that limousine. But if you guys do end up circling that car park on a motorcycle or do anything else like that, make sure everyone is with you kind of cleared away from the area all you want to do is circle around the car park until you're at such a distance away where you can still see into the car park but the cars have enough time to kind of respawn themselves and to put this into technical language what you are technically doing right here is what pretty much everyone else would have done if there was a modded hearse in the session and this is simply using the hearse to spawn in another hearse and this trick does actually work something which you guys may have noticed is if you drive down the streets in a certain car which will spawn in GTA 5 more of those cars will spawn around you because you're driving it. It's something the rich Rockstar games have coded into the game. I'm not too sure why they've done it, but when one of those vehicles is in the area, other vehicles will spawn around it of that same type, and you're essentially using that locked hearse to spawn in other hearses around it. So once you do circle around that car park a few times, what you should notice is after a few minutes, a hearse will spawn in the car park, which as you can see, we have just got right now. And this is the hearse you guys can spawn in. I can go and modify this hearse. I can customize 
customize it. Something I recommend all of you guys do though, is that taking it to the Los Santos Customs and applying a tracker and full coverage onto this. This way, if someone tries to blow this up, and they will because this is an extremely rare car by the way guys, you will have coverage on it so you can spawn it back into GTA 5. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy your hearse. It is once again the rarest vehicle in GTA 5 and I am so glad Rockstar Games gave us this awesome method to get this hearse back in GTA 5. And of course, any questions, queries, or anything else like that, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments section below. But guys, unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. If you did enjoy today's episode, please feel free to smash that like button. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here as well, so you won't miss out on any more GTA 5 content every single day. Anyway, guys, aside from that, thank you so much for watching. That's all I've got time for today, and I'll see you guys next time.